right friends welcome back to facts and figures for second week the first one is prepaid payment instruments you may have a doubt what is meant by prepaid payment instruments all types of mobile wallets comes under prepaid payment instruments and the regulatories reserve bank of india please don't forget and prepaid payment instruments limit of rupees 20000 is extended to promote digital payments and balance in such prepaid payment instruments cannot exceed rupees 20000 at any point of time that is one thing and second thing is in case of merchant accounts it is rupees 50000 balance should not exceed that previously the date was 31st december it is now extended beyond 31st december right so the limit of this mobile wallet both for merchants as well as normal individuals is increased beyond december 31 look into the next one the president inaugurated 77th session of indian history congress at the university of kerala in tiruvananthapuram and this is the largest professional and academic body of indian historians with over 10000 members please look into this slide Look into the next issue that is Union Ministry of Law and Justice constituted a high level committee to review institutionalization of arbitration mechanism in our country. This is headed by B. N. Sri Krishna. B. N. Sri Krishna is a retired judge of Supreme Court and the committee will look into various factors to accelerate arbitration mechanism and also to strengthen arbitration ecosystem in the country. Look into the next one. Union government launched a Swach Swast Sarvatra, basically to strengthen health centers in open defecation free blocks. And if I am not wrong, around 700 blocks are declared open defecation free. And it is basically to promote this health centers in open defecation free blocks. And the twin objectives are constructing toilets and enabling behavioral change. So, under this program, financial assistance of rupees 10 lakh will be given to the community health centers. This is one important aspect. And please look into this slide, it will be clear to you. This Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation, Swachh Bharat program, then Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, one program is there that is known as Kaya Kalp. Kayakalp program and this program Swach Swast Sarvatra is promoted by these two ministries, right? This combines open defecation free at the same time promoting this health centers, right? Look into the next one and before going into the next one, another aspect is Swast Bache Swast Bharat. This was also launched. Swast Bache, Swast Bharat. This was launched with the joint initiative of Ministry of Human Resource Development, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. These things don't forget. And name the country which launched two high resolution remote sensing satellites. Superview 1 and 2. This high resolution remote sensing satellites were launched by China. And here, these were launched by Long March rocket. If someone talks about the Long March rocket that belongs to China at the same time, what is the purpose of this high resolution remote sensing satellites? The main purpose is to give commercial images with 0.5 meters resolution, right? So, this is the picture pertaining to that. Let us move on to the next one. Justice J.S. Kehar sworn in as 44th Chief Justice and the other important aspect is he will be in the post till August 17 because the Supreme Court the Chief Justice has to retire after attaining the age of 65 and one important aspect is he led the five judge constitution bench which struck down NJAC. Then look into the next one. Oil companies will offer a discount of rupees 5 per LPG cylinder if the refill is done through online payment. Basically, it is to shift the customers towards online payment. 
एंड थ्री प्रोग्राम्स प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट प्रधानमंत्री उज्ज्वला योजना वेयर गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग सब्सिडी ऑफ रुपीज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड पर ईच गैस कनेक्शन देन पहल पहल इज इन टू द रिकॉर्ड बुक्स किन्नीस वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड विथ सिक्सटीन करोर डायरेक्ट बेनिफिटेड ट्रांसफर्स देन गिव इट अप दिस इज द प्रोग्राम बेसिकली इट इज अ वॉलेंटरी प्रोग्राम to give up lpg subsidy so these things please don't forget when you are looking at lpg so now rupees 5 per lpg cylinder will be given if the refill is made through online payment paytm payments bank receives final approval from reserve bank of india and before march india post is also going to start payments bank and paytm promoter is vijay shekhar sharma please don't forget and this payments bank will be categorized as differentiated bank or nic bank please don't forget this is a payments bank or small finance banks these are categorized as differentiated banks or nic banks because they are going to do only specified segment of operations and universal banks are different universal banks can do any type of operation next one is surekha marandi was appointed as executive director of reserve bank of india reserve bank of india has got 11 executive directors in charge of various departments reserve bank of india has got four deputy governors this also don't forget the next one is united nations general assembly declared 2017 as international year of sustainable tourism for development please don't forget this United Nations declared 2017 as the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development. Tourism is to be understood from the perspective of sustainable development. And in fact, the goal numbers 8, 12, 14 of sustainable development goals will have the element of this sustainability in achieving those goals, right? so please look into this these are the issues eight this is economic growth decent work and economic growth life below water is 14 and the next one is responsive consumption and production so several aspects of the sustainable development goals have got the aspect of sustainability in each and every action so that is the beauty of sustainable development goals name the first country in europe to pay its unemployed citizens a basic monthly income of around 560 euro or 587 dollars this will be on a two year trial period 2000 randomly picked citizens will receive unemployment benefits that is a basic monthly income this is on experimental basis and the country we are talking about is finland please don't forget so finland is the country where this unemployed citizens will get basic monthly income and finland became the first country in europe and we deliberated about norway norway is going to be the first country to switch over from frequency modulation radio look into the next one prakash parv this was celebrated on 5th january few things i would like to tell you this is to commemorate the birth anniversary of guru gobind singh guru gobind singh is the last and 10th guru of sikh religion subsequently guru granth sahib is the final and eternal living guru the last is guru gobind singh 10th guru and subsequently guru granth sahib that is the final and last eternal living guru and guru granth sahib is final eternal guru please don't forget and at the same time guru gobind singh the 10th guru was born in patna and the prime minister participated in the celebrations in patna so prakash parv is on 5th january don't forget the next one is in the poll schedule for the assembly elections announced uttar pradesh polling is being held or is going to be held in seven phases and i have given here the states which are going to polls uttar pradesh manipur then uttarakhand punjab 
goma and the number of assembly seats i have given and the phases uttar pradesh elections are going to be held in seven phases two phases manipur elections then single phase elections for uttarakhand punjab and goa so these things are very important and at the same time per candidate the expenditure limit is also specified it is 28 lakhs in states like up uttarakhand punjab and 20 lakhs in states of manipur and goa so this is expenditure limit per each candidate look into the next one name the political party started by iram sharmila iram sharmila who fought for around 15 years against the imposition of armed forces special powers act now contesting in the elections and the political party started by iram sharmila is people's resurgence and justice alliance please don't forget people's resurgence and justice alliance look into the next one world's largest solar power plant was commissioned this was commissioned in tamil nadu the answer is tamil nadu here and at kamudhi in ramanathapuram district of tamil nadu at one place installed capacity is 648 megawatt and please look into this picture this is the picture of uh, is power plant this is solar power plant and at the same time adani group has constructed it and uh, please don't forget uh, our share of renewable power in the total energy needs will be 40% by 2030 these things don't forget look into the next one japan will assist india for the development of chennai ahmedabad and varanasi as smart cities and for development of smart cities we have tie up with the several countries from examination perspective sometimes a question is expected recently japan stated that chennai ahmedabad varanasi these are three cities will be developed as a smart cities Japan will give assistance similarly United Kingdom has given its willingness for development of Pune Amravati indoor like that i have given here please go through them because examination perspective they may be important and look into the next one union sports ministry constituted a committee this is headed by injet srinivas what is the purpose of this committee the purpose is to frame comprehensive national sports development code for developing a comprehensive national sports development code injet srinivas committee was constituted and they will make specific recommendations for bringing comprehensive national sports code and please look into these pictures injet srinivas and other members like abhinav bindra anju babu george prakash padukone etc Look into the next one. Name the technology giant which unveiled Latitude 7285. Latitude 7285 is world's first laptop that charges wirelessly, and this is unveiled by Dell. Please don't forget. So this Latitude 7285, it is a convertible laptop with a detachable tablet. It is a convertible laptop with a detachable tablet. and here important aspect is this charging is by wireless means what is the technology you may ask the technology is magnetic resonance technology very important based on magnetic resonance technology this wireless chargeable laptop was developed and this technology generates a safe magnetic field that transmits electricity wirelessly near the range of receivable device right so this is the theory behind this wireless chargeable laptop right please look into this picture let us move on name the space organization which announced two missions lucy and psyche to explore early solar system for exploration of early solar system this two missions are proposed to be launched by nasa they are going to be launched in 2021 and 2023 basically they will help the scientists to understand how planets and other bodies separated into their layers including core mantle and crusts 
so it will throw some light into the formation of various planets so if someone talks about lucy as well as psyche these are going to be launched in 2021 and 23 basically nasa is going to launch them so look into the next one portugal prime minister he is uh, the person of indian origin he visited india so please don't forget antonio costa is the person of indian origin he is the present portugal prime minister and he traces his roots to goa and he is also the chief guest at 14th pravasi bharatiya divas celebrations held in bengaluru right friends then let us look at the next one before going ahead portugal is the european country having long coastline of this atlantic ocean look into the next one football player from portugal this is another news of portugal football player cristiano ronaldo was named the world's best player for the year 2016 and best fifa world cup awards this was held in zurich switzerland and please don't forget fifa headquarters is zurich switzerland and these are the football awards presented annually by fifa right so cristiano ronaldo he is edited as the world's best player for the year 2016 look into the next one indian space research organization isro and cnes what is cnes cnes is french space agency isro and cnes they signed a partnership agreement in satellite launch technology and similarly axiom research labs also signed an agreement with the cnes for two latest generation caspex micro cameras for what purpose this caspex micro cameras will be used in the moon mission of team indus please don't forget team indus that is going to be the private moon mission which is going to be launched during early 2018 and at the same time isro's chandrayaan 2 also please don't forget isro's chandrayaan 2 is also coming up so isro's chandrayaan 2 as well as team indus that is the moon mission and for team indus moon mission this micro cameras are going to be procured from cnes cnes is the space agency of france then world hindi day is observed annually on 10th january for the first time it was observed on 10th january 2006 and here one important point one should not forget world hindi day is different from national hindi divas world hindi day is celebrated on 10th january national hindi divas is celebrated on 14th september please don't forget 14th september 1949 hindi with devanagari script was adapted as the official language of the union so to commemorate that we are celebrating 14th september as the national hindi divas and if someone is talking about world hindi day that is on 10th january these things don't forget look into the next one kalyan krishnamurthy was appointed as a new chief executive officer of india's largest retailer flipkart bini bansal became group ceo and kalyan krishnamurthy is ceo of flipkart state bank of india decided to completely waive merchant discount rate charges on debit card transactions for all small merchants having annual turnover of up to rupees 20 lakh for a period of one year so up to rupees 20 lakh turnover that means the for small merchants this merchant discount rate will not be levied and here one important point is this merchant discount rate is a shared by three entities that is consumer bank as well as bank which installed pos payment platform so these three will share this merchant discount rate when merchant discount rate is charged 
suppose if i am using a card if my bank is a state bank of india so if my bank is a state bank of india if i am using the card state bank of india will get something out of it and the if the pos machine is installed by icici bank icici bank will also get something and if i am using the visa card then this payment platform visa will also get something so this merchant discount rate will be shared right now state bank of india stated that it is completely waiving merchant discount rate charges on debit card transactions right this one i have taken as an example here i assumed this consumer bank my bank as a state bank of india and the bank which installed pos as icici bank icici bank has not stated that it is not going to charge merchant discount rate but sbi announced that it is not going to charge merchant discount rate next one is football's governing body fifa stated that it will expand the world cup participants to 48 teams from the existing 32 teams from 2026 tournament and please don't forget fifa world cup is going to be held in 2018 in russia 2022 in qatar and 2026 it's going to be held in north america so from 2026 onwards number of participating teams will go up to 48 at present 32 teams are allowed to participate now from 2026 onwards it will go up to 48 teams so he is infantino president of fifa look into the next one prime minister inaugurated india's first international exchange india inx at international financial services center what is the meaning of international financial services center international financial services center where the trading is possible in the overseas assets also in shares in the issues pertaining to financial instruments of a foreign land they can also be traded and the international financial services center concept is there can be trading of international financial assets and at present new york singapore london these emerged as international financial services center and india's first international financial services center is being coming up at gandhinagar in gujarat which is known as gujarat international finance tech city or gift city and in the gift city india's first international exchange that is india inx this is established and this is wholly owned subsidiary of bombay stock exchange that is one point and it will enable indian firms to compete on equal footing with offshore firms right so it will facilitate international investors and nris to trade from anywhere in the world right and this is gift city gandhi nagar gujarat then national youth day is celebrated on january 12 and this is to commemorate the birth anniversary of swami vivekananda and actual name of swami vivekananda is narendranath datta and it was decided in 1984 to celebrate birth anniversary of swami vivekananda as a national youth day which started celebrating from 1985 right so this is all about facts and figures for second week and please do join for other modules as well as editorial discussion as well as comprehension discussion and with this let us conclude facts and figures have a nice day thank you thanks a lot